chase I need scripts, I need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's the way I need loans with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space nationalities we're the same people right as five different black men what's your nationality one's gonna say I'm black one's gonna say I'm a nigga one's gonna say I'm a Negro one's gonna say I'm African-American another one's gonna say I'm Baptist which is a denomination not a not a nationality one gonna say I'm an Asiatic original man we all the same people but all of us gonna say a different damn race Ain't that the truth? people that this book is talking about the Bible will have to be translated right the Bible says that read what you got the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 3. There is no speech, no language, where their voice is not heard. The Bible says there's no speech, no language, where their voices aren't heard. What are their voices? The prophets. Christ, Isaiah, Ezekiel. There's no language that God's not going to cause this to be written in because you need to understand that you're the people of this book. Isaiah 28, verse 11. Right? I'm going to give you another one because... For too long, we, in slavery, we couldn't read and write. And that was on purpose, because lest these niggas pick up this Bible and start reading, and see them, what happened to the men in slavery that read this Bible, saw themselves in it, what happened to those men? What'd they do to them? Or what did those men do? They, it, they killed them. But guess what, the men that saw themselves, and that, your, your Matt Turners, your Gabriel uh, Prosser, those men read this Bible, saw themselves in it and rose up against their people because they well, understood. We, we turned wait, wait, wait. on ourselves though. These are the, we the people of the Bible. The Bible calls them our enemies. We so gotta do something. And every one of them got put to death for reading this Bible. Every single one of them. So if reading was a problem, how would they stop you from reading? Except there's something that you can't read. The less you change can and I become what you are, right? Can I say something? I got you, bro. You don't think we turned on ourselves? We, that's why we went into slavery. We're going to, we're going to touch on that. Read what you got. 28 11. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 11. For with stammering lips and another tongue. You know what stammering lips is? When you read the Bible, you come across some names that you can barely pronounce. That's uh, 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 That's that's stammering lips. What and you, what that mean? And another tongue. And a different language shall what? Will he speak to his to this people? Read that again from the top. From with stammering lips. Stammering lips barely can pronounce. And another tongue. And a new language. Will he speak to this people? Will he speak to this people? That's what the Bible says. So. I understand why a lot of our people be like, well, they translated or, you know, they tamper with it. If they didn't translate this Bible, you wouldn't understand that Christ is black. That's right. If they didn't translate this Bible, you wouldn't understand in Deuteronomy where it says you were going to slavery on slave ships in the That's Bible. Right. Somebody had to translate it so that you could read it. Otherwise, we would have to depend on the same Let people go, man. that I'm told sorry. us we I'm couldn't read and write. Let me go. We would have to depend on everything you know is taught to you by the people who hate you. That's who taught you, you black. African American, niggas, Negroes, all these things that you're not. How, how the hell are we all these different nationalities? We're the same people, right? As five different black men, what's your nationality? One's gonna say I'm black. One's gonna say I'm a nigga. One's gonna say I'm a Negro. One's gonna say I'm African American. Another one's gonna say I'm Baptist, which is a denomination, not a, not a nationality. One's gonna say I'm an Asiatic original man. We all the same people, but all of us gonna say a different damn race. But you ask, right, right. you ask a Chinese man, what's his race? He's gonna tell you. He's gonna tell you not only is he Chinese, but what city in China he descends from. So what do we say when we're black? You say, what do you mean? We're black? Your shirt's black. Are you that color? We supposed to be. We supposed to be what? We Israelites. We're supposed to be, uh, uh, That's what we are. We Israelites. That's right. You specifically are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. We supposed to say Israelites. We Israelites. That's what we mean. God's people. You know why? Because only one of us on this planet was made in the image of God. And that's us. Give me, give me, give me God. Give me, uh, give me, what's it, uh, Daniel 7 and 9. Watch this. I told you, right? We were made in the image of God, right? What does God look like? Because the white man called us Christians. Right. God looked like that, right? Can you prove that in the Bible? Because that, that's, we depict that as Christ. But the scripture says Christ. Christ said, I look like my father. When you right. see me, you've seen the father. That's right. So what does the father look like? That Christ said, 
fact, you don't gotta see the father. If you see me, you see him. Read what you got. This is Daniel. Daniel 7 and 9. Remember this. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, uh -huh. and the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is the most high, the Father, because he's older than days or time itself. That's what it means by the Ancient of Days did sit, proving God has a body. Because you can't sit down if you're a puff of damn smoke. We learn in Christianity, God's a spirit, and he just, ooh, he's just floating around heaven, yelling at people and stuff. God has a body. The Bible says the Lord is a man of war, right. meaning he's not soft. Christianity makes us think God is just uh, dolphins, trees, sunshine, rainbows, and like lollipops. Said, like God hates things and destroys things. Just like a father hates things when his sons disobey. God's no different, right? Read on. Whose garment was white as snow. God wears clothes. Read. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. What is God's hair like? His hair on his hair like the pure wool. So look at that brother's hair. Black Look at that brother's hair. Look at that brother's hair. Look at your hair. The Bible just said the hair of God. First of all, if God was a puff of smoke, he wouldn't have hair. That's right. God's hair is like pure wool. What people have pure woolly hair? Uh, us. Us, right? Us. So why does Christianity depict God with dead, stringy hair like a goat like and a, a pale man. face like a white man? You know why? Because. I, I'll, I'll answer that question with another question. Why is it that white people are safer in your community than you are? Bring it out. Right. Tonight, I see white people jogging around here and stuff. Nobody touch them. Nobody touch them. If I walk into this neighborhood, I don't live around here. No one knows me around here. So if I walk around here at night, what's going to happen to me? Never know. Never know, right? Someone might rob me. I might get beat up. Someone might shoot me. That, but I look like you. That's right. I look same just way. like you. I go through the same so stuff you, you go do through. That? I go through the same stuff you why go through. Why would you do that? You know why? Because we did it to each other first. We broke the commandment. That's the right. commandment said, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt with any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Give, give me that real quick. Leviticus 19 17. That's why. Because since we were doing it to each other, the most high, like he read in Deuteronomy 28 earlier. Hold on. on. What, like he read in Deuteronomy 28 earlier, right? Because we didn't keep those commandments, the most high gave us over to the people that hate us. Right. Since we hated each other. Wow. We were the only ones giving these laws to govern ourselves by because we are the only ones that Tell are in fact the sons of God. That's Tell right. Me. Tell me why. I'm, I'm going to show you why, right? Read this. This is why it happened to us. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. That was a law. That's a law. You shouldn't hate your brother in your heart. That's deeper than, you know, just, man, F that Negro or whatever. It's deeper than that. How else can you show your brother you hate him? Read. Thou shalt not any wise. Read it right. Thou shalt not, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. Hold that real quick. Give me sin. So the scriptures say in order to not hate your brother, you got to rebuke him, meaning check his behind That's and right. not suffer sin upon him. You know what our people are afraid to do to each other? Check each other. We'll see people deal with dope in our community. No one will say anything. No one will say, hey, bro, bro, you got kids and damn mothers holding babies strung the hell out. Cut that out, bro. That's not going to fly here. That's right. If I see you doing it, I'm calling the police and you're going to prison. That's you right. do that, they'll stop. They'll stop. They That's may right. puff up. They may, man, look, you ain't doing nothing. They might do that, but if enough of us... Not having that, they'll move their ass around. That's or right. they'll stop doing it. That's what it means to love your brother. That's wrong. That's, that's it. That stuff is evil as, as hell. You understand? That stuff is evil as hell to watch somebody sell oh, you dope speaking, to you babies, speaking, kids, speaking. mothers, fathers. Homes are destroyed with that. But I got to get me. I got to get my money. I got to take care of my family by destroying your family. That's right. That's how I'm going to take care of my family. Read what you got. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. So the scripture says, rebuke your neighbor, meaning correct his behind, and not suffer sin upon him. So what is sin? Whosoever committed a sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. So if someone is lawless, then they are breaking laws, they're in sin. If the law says, thou shalt not kill, if you witness somebody kill somebody, or you know somebody that killed somebody, they need to go to jail. You know why? Because they ain't gonna stop till you did. And that ain't gonna stop. Most of us don't even care about somebody murdering somebody until they touch his home. Yo. I sit up there, hey man, I know I know he killed uh uh Kayla's baby girl, but hey man, there's a code of ethics out here called not snitching. 
Hey, I know the nigga killed right. the girl. That's sad, man. I, don't, I ain't happy he did that, but I ain't snitching, man, because snitches get snitches. And that's wrong. It's wrong to snitch on that Negro that killed the baby girl. But now his nigga ass killed my baby girl. Now I want blood. Now he has to pay. See? I should feel that way if it was your baby girl. I should feel that way if it was you. Right. And I do feel that way. Because that stuff don't fly with us. Not at all. Not at all. When, when we come around, Negroes move around. That's right. They move around. Because they know, yeah, let me move before they call the police on me and I ain't trying to go to jail. And you need to go to jail. Because as long as you pumping dope through my community, police will keep coming to my community putting us to death. That's right. Because they, they only see us for what you portray as ass. Everybody ain't pumping dope in the community. Everybody ain't laid up with a baby mama here and a baby mama there. Some people in our communities try to be decent people. They go to work. They take care of their children. You know, they try to be good, upstanding people in the community. But they'll get put down by a police officer because they look like the nigga that's up there selling dope. So he has to go. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.